All right, Jackie, we'll see you then. Thanks. Well, taking flight into the future, the University of Alaska Fairbanks is helping to do that with the support of a grant from the Federal Aviation Administration. As Carly Schreck tells us now, a recent series of test flights in the state is opening the cargo doors to opportunities for rural communities in Alaska. We might not see it for years, or even in our lifetime, but testing autonomous flights is already happening right here in our state. For us to be able to safely operate in that complex environment means the technologies we develop, if we can prove them here, and so we can do flights in the Alaskan airspace safely, we can take that technology and put it anywhere. The Alaska Center for UAS Integration partnered with Boston-based aviation technology company Merlin, who brought this familiar workhorse to the friendly skies of Fairbanks. That's a model that a lot of freight and cargo moves on in Alaska, because we thought it was, you know, similar sort of conditions and airframe that uh, Alaska is used to seeing. The Cessna 208 is equipped with a highly automated flight control system capable of takeoff, navigation, and landing, all using artificial intelligence. Here we are in 2023, and a Cessna Grand Caravan is getting essentially a drone mine put into it to fly on its own. The 25 test flights originated out of Fairbanks International Airport and flew to five rural communities within the Yukon, Koyukuk, and North Slope boroughs. A pilot was there as a safety measure in case the machine didn't do what it was supposed to, but this aircraft flew from Fairbanks to Fort Yukon, taking off on its own and landing on a gravel runway in pretty heavy winds. A successful string of trials that has the potential to fill a need in Alaska's more remote communities. We need cargo delivered to our remote communities. This isn't us flying a burrito across town. This isn't delivering your coffee within five minutes so it's hot. Th these are things that are actually important to these communities. In a state deeply dependent on the skies, it's clear the history of aviation is still being written. Carly Schreck, Alaska's News Source.